What a Come on! Chipping Dr. Chipinski on the last, baby! We are solo leader at the players! Come on! Come on! Come on! Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to moving day at the players' championship. We have got ourselves into a tie for the lead after two rounds here at TPC Sawgrass, even after that shocking end to round one at 17 and 18. So we had a really good round two, probably our best round in the career mode yet. We shot eight under if you missed the last episode. Episode. Highly recommend going and checking it out, but it's moving day here at TPC Sawgrass and hopefully there's uh, th There's no room for us to move down anyway. So um, well, there's no room for us to move up I mean, hopefully we're not gonna move down is what I'm trying to say But anyway, let's jump into the career. I actually have quite a few rewards that I want to check out. So we have chapter one rewards here Let's have a look and see what this bad boy is All right 500 reward points. Yay. I think these ones are usually just reward points anyway, yeah. A thousand reward points, nice. Um, chapter one reward. Nope, 250 reward points. God damn it. <laughs> All right, 10,000 XP as well, though. So we must be uh, fairly close to getting to level 40 now. 45,000 XP away. Um, let's check the store, see if there's anything worth buying there at the moment. I did actually buy a wood spec. So I think it was this, uh, yeah, this one here, the epic wood control spec. So that may basically means that, that I, can, I can put more... Uh, fade more loft on it. It's so basically in turn I can get it to stop quicker, which is uh, which is quite handy indeed I haven't bought anything else here now. The bogey boys cap looks kind of nice. The Dublin polo looks sick as well Other than that, I think we're a-okay to continue and um, we might try some sponsor challenges But we're gonna jump into round three of the players championship real soon Let's see if there is there any sponsor challenges that I Wanted to do like oh, we unlocked the irons after five stars. We unlocked the sim max sim 2 max irons interesting What's in my bag right now actually? Let's have a look okay, equipment wise. I have oh, yeah I have the Callaway paradigm driver. Yes, I do I have the ping woods and then what irons do I have right now? Ah, yes I have the Callaway apex irons. I mean those are pretty sick actually <laughs> those are pretty damn sick But I, I would like to try out the the sim max 2 irons as well potentially i probably will, will not switch until after though but let's jump into round three of the players championship we actually are playing with scotty scheffler at the moment by the way guys if you want to buy some merch or buy some rogue energy uh links for that in the description really appreciate all the people buying merch and buying rogue energy over the last couple of days really does mean a lot thank you thank you thank you and i uh, can't wait to get into round three of the players here thank you for all the support on this career mode it's been it's been massive it's been incredible and i can't thank you guys enough as i said all right so we're tied with billy horschel quite a few people there within three shots of the lead so it should be a fun moving day here let's see if anyone's gonna try come for our throne scotty scheffler alongside us what score was scotty scheffler actually i didn't see was he on the first page of that leaderboard i think he was i think he's like eight under or something maybe some scintillating golf through the first two rounds now it's moving day and for our featured golfer this is bang beauty beauty son can i compete on one of the game's biggest stages. What a shot. To this point, what a shot, son. Has been Come on. Yes. 95 yards exactly low. Right. He's seven under. Okay. Round. So he's still in contention. It's a challenge really all But uh, a little bit far back. The day, position wise relative to the list. Bang. And for a fe featured player. Scotty Scotty Scheffler the misses the fairway on one. For two Ooh. Days, for the first two days. Okay. But that's the challenge of golf weekend. Poor one for Scotty. Can you do what you know you can do? Of course so I can. Beautiful Saturday here, Frank, and it is. I can do what I need to do. The eye of our featured golfer. Everything has come up roses to this point in the tournament, leading here into the weekend and in search of that first ever PGA Tour victory, one that I Ooh, think would say to the world, "Hey, I belong here." This has been an incredible year for young players coming out, Rich. So. Uh, I think that this this player would add their name to that list. Damn right, they've I would. Skill. Uh, they've certainly got nerve. And all they need is to finish the job. Maybe today's the day. Maybe it is. A little bit of underswing could help us there, this I think. That's good so good. One. Oh my god, go in the hole. <laughs> what a start. What a start. Absolutely We're going to take the solo lead on one here. Come on. Scotty Scheffler. From right to left. Oh! Wow, just a that looked in all the way. What the hell happened, Scotty? Poor Scotty. All right, birdie on one for ourselves, and that moves us into solo first, baby. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. Scotty Scheffler is going to tap in for a par on one, stay seven under par. Um, 
So, interestingly enough, it seemed like we were teeing off at 11.04. Okay, so, do, do they not do it on the weekend in order? That would be a little weird, I think. Yeah, look, Billy Horschel is not out till 2.36 on, on, on Saturday. Saturday, it should be in order. All right, this is going to be tough to reach into the wind, but we can still do it. There are some trees down the left side. Just want to avoid those. Ooh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a drive. Perfect draw. Absolutely perfect shot. Couldn't place it any better if I walked out there myself. And that, that is where the seven wood could come in handy now that I have the seven wood in the bag. Uh, could come in real handy in a place like that. Scotty Scheffler, for some reason, hitting three wood. Looks like he's just going to play this as a three-shotter. It seems to be always the par five where they where they take a layup club. <laughs> like, they, they, never, they never hit a full driver on the par five, which I find strange. Scotty Scheffler. Scotty Scheffler. Scotty Scheffler. He's in seventh place at seven under, so okay. Quite a few people above Scotty Scheffler, even more. Four shots clear of uh, of Scotty Scheffler. What the fuck? Oh, he's just playing a giga draw. Oh my god, he went for it, kind of. Jesus, okay. <laughs> I see you, Scotty. See if you did driver, you want to reach it easily, dumbass. This is too much. I feel like with that wind, we put a little height on this bad boy. Big fade high, big high fade rather. Let's see. Oh, please. That's it. You good. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It was almost a little too good. 48 foot for eagle. <laughs> My guy is hyped about it. My guy is hyped about it. All right, man. I can't. I've, I've been missing getting getting out on the course in real life now. It's been almost two months since I since my injury happened on the golf course. That was the last time I was playing, um, and I cannot wait to get back on the golf course. I'm also really apprehensive and nervous about starting to swing the club again because I just like start to think about that again and again and again, and I don't know how to like get that out of my mind when I'm when I will be getting ready to play. Um, probably take a while for me to get back fully fully confident with swinging a golf club but i'm really excited about it because i i actually planned um let's see if we can <gasps> oh my god i thought we had it for a second wow okay so i actually had planned to record course vlogs and stuff like that uh this month, like this coming month in May, me Alex was going to come over. We were going to record a couple of course vlogs. We were even planning to try and maybe play yes. Old Head and do a course Better vlog there, which would have been incredible. This, um, so I had a lot of plans for the start of this year with, with the new camera, the new camera lens that I'm going to get as well. Um, like for high production course vlogs and IRL golf content, basically. And it's such a disappointment that the injury happened at the time that it did. When I was supposed to be going to Bay Hill, I was supposed to be uh, I was supposed to go to Bay Hill and play with the with the EA guys, and then I was planning myself to do a lot of really cool content. We're two shots clear at the top of the leaderboard, by the way, after back-to-back -back birdies to start the day. All right, two shots clear. Without question, you can walk out of here with a deuce, with a birdie. With a deuce. Let's see, eight mile an hour. Hmm. That could be good, right? 187, 18. No, it's not enough. Okay. Maybe a little finesse, six iron? Yeah, finesse six iron's gonna work. A little high draw finesse six iron, I think. This might be too much still. But I'm banking on this stopping with that wind. That's not stopping, is it? Oh. Alright, a little too much club. A little too much club. That's gonna be a really difficult up and down from there. Maybe a spinner from there will well, work or something like that. Out. Scotty yeah, Shuffler. But yeah, well. once I'm better, once I'm back and firing, maybe even a couple videos like um, around the golf course of me improving, maybe getting a few lessons. Let me know if you're interested in any of that kind of stuff because I would 100% be down to clown with some uh, with some like road to recovery golf videos and stuff like that, and just show me uh, show me getting back to it. Basically, up to you guys. You know, you guys are the are the arbiter of what I do here, honestly, so. <laughs>guys are interested in real life golf content i will bring it to you what a shot oh what a shot still goes about eight to ten foot by honestly and uh they use us a big tester for a par but it was still wonderful i thought that was going to stop up a little quicker yeah, with the spinner the but yeah, kept rolling it was tough from where we were i knew we were short-sighted a little bit scotty scheffler oh my god 
I thought he jarred that for a second. But he goes about 20 foot by. Not an ideal start, start for Scotty. And that race is right on by. After birdie on two. He might give it right back here. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll give it right back with a bogey on three. We could have two PBFUs here if we don't hold this. Let's see. No, there was more turn than that. There was more turn than that. And a silly bogey on three to follow up two birdies on one and two. All right. PBFU for me and Scotty. We're still leading this thing, and that's uh, that's the important thing. We're still leading this tournament, baby. No pars yet, but I'll take a par on four. You know, settle settle the ship. Steady the ship a little bit. Scotty Scheffler is going to tap in for his par as well. Or for his bogey as well, rather. They're both making bogey, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, it's actually it's actually wonderful down. seeing how good the, the course are recreated in this game. I was playing East Lake yesterday. Phenomenal. PPC Sawgrass looks incredible. Like, just the different... I don't know. The different way of seeing the courses in this game is, is brilliant. Like, I still can't believe people are saying, like, the graphics in this game are bad. Like, I don't understand. I could see if you, like, said the anim uh, the animations of some of the golfers or, like, the, the way the golfers look isn't perfect sometimes. But the course... The courses, the graphics are just incredible. It's the best recreation we've seen of golf courses in a video game, 100%. Let's see, a little high fade here. Po power drive against the wind. I didn't even need to power drive that, really, I just realized, but that's going to be fine, I think. Oh, it's going to be ideal. It's going to be bloody ideal. It's going to be a little pitch shot from there, to be honest. Beautiful. A little 52-yarder there. That might be, a, might be a pitch. Maybe even play a spinner from there, potentially. Scotty Scheffler back to 7-under after the bogey on the last hole. Let's see if he can bounce back with a birdie here. That looks good from Scotty right there. Ooh, that's a bomb of a drive right there. Beautiful. Beautiful drive from Scotty Scheffler leads him about 100 yards. 80? 80 yards, yeah. But yeah, let me know if you have any other ideas for, for content here as well. I've been doing the match play series with Alex. Um, I uploaded that yesterday, last night. It was a little bit late, so you might have missed that video. What a shot by Scotty. That's in. Oh my God, Scotty Scheffler holes out from the fairway for an eagle. From 77 yards out, he jars it. The little backspin, and now we have to follow that up. Wow, Scotty. Impressive stuff, man. That was awesome. Now, the wind is going to affect us a little bit, but this is also going to run quite a bit. So, we need to be aware of that. What did he just... What kind of shot did he play right there? A little finesse or what? Great shot. Oh, brilliant shot there. Hit the fringe and killed it completely. Beautiful. And we should have a birdie. It might not be uh, as good as Scotty's eagle. Um, he's just got the eagle to get within two. So, we need to, to get this to extend it back to three over our playing partner here. We've done that. Lovely birdie. We've done our job there. So birdie, birdie, bogey, birdie start. Still no pars for me. I said I'd take a par there, but we've done one better. Got a birdie. After the drive, it was going to be hard not to. Keith Mitchell and Billy Horschel, both 10 under par, two back. Oh, yeah, boys. Two-shot lead here at the Players' Championship. Could this be our first win in the biggest tournament of the season? It would be the perfect time to get it. Scotty, Scotty, Shepla. Scotty, Scotty, Shepla. After an eagle... Can he go on a run now? Scotty Scheffler is looking to come for that goddamn title. It's a beautiful hole out from him, but not a good drive. Not a good drive at all from Scotty Scheffler. That's poor. Uh, I'm kind of prepping for, for turning Zoom off as well, guys, because I feel like that could be a really fun idea. And I don't know if you guys agree with me on that, but I think that turning Zoom off could be a, could be a great one. Tough drive this, but that should be just on the right side, I'd say. No, it's not making it, is it? I'm the exact same as Sky Sheffler, if I got sick. I thought that would come in a little bit more now. Flight Two bunker shots here, but... Way. His second out of the bunker. Scotty Scheffler, minus 8.6. Looks pretty good, though. Yeah, good shot from Scotty. He gives himself a birdie chance out of the bunker. 16 foot for a birdie. Strike. Let's see if we, can, uh, if we can get inside that. It would be quite lovely. I think the 9 iron should work. Got a good four. lie. Wind helping at our back a little bit off the right. <gasps> perfect, perfect. Oh, wow. The perfect, perfect went way too far left. I wasn't playing for enough wind, I guess. Wow. Okay. Impressive stuff from them. Perfect, perfect. Then it goes dead left. Impressive stuff from the wind there, I must say. All right, let's see if we can chip this in. 
It's a good chip. It's a good effort. It's going to be a top in par. Our first par of the day. I think be well, it's two foot. I'm not going to say it's a top in just yet, but <laughs> should be a clean up par there. And um, let's see what we get. And all things considered, he's in a pretty good spot. It might move gently to his right as it works back. Dotty! Oh, he follows up the eagle with a birdie, and he's beat me on the last two holes now, and he gets within two of the lead. Scotty Scheffler, our playing partner, is coming for us. This is getting to see. This is why having the player playing partner on is so good. Like, I'm scared now. Like, Scotty is putting the bloody pressure right in my heart here. He moves into a tie for second. Two shots back after a birdie there. Eagle birdie for Scotty Scheffler. Incredible stuff from him. Three wood for Scotty Scheffler. Correct play, I think. It was visually intimidating. Water trouble. Yeah. And the premium on accuracy and strategic. How long does he have left there now? 137. Yeah, it's a good distance. Should I try and match that, or should I just hit driver? I feel like. I feel like I can honestly just hit driver because I don't drive as far as Scotty and. Let's hit a little low, a low draw bullet, bullet drive here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I just want to make sure I'm not far enough up to be blocked out by the trees, and I'm definitely not. It's perfect. Yeah, nothing to fault Beautiful there. drive there. Good follow through and a good start 103 yards hole. left. Crowd's going wild in the background, jumping up and down. This is where Got his Scheffler. So He's on a roll with all the girls he knows. Into that stiff breeze. Can he keep this up? Can he keep this hot form up? Got his Scheffler's going right at it here. He's going right at it. Scotty Scheffler. Oh, my God. He's going right at it, and he puts it close. And this man is on no, fire. No, 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 Six no, no, foot for a birdie, like and to be four oh, under for his last three holes. Good Lord, Scotty. Please calm approach. down. All right, a little knockdown from me here. We'll, we'll do the business, I think. A little 60-degree knockdown? Not enough. Okay, I'll put a bit of height on this knockdown. And I'll try and take a little bit off it with a bit of underswing. I think that'll be absolutely perfect. Not that much underswing, though. That was awful. Jesus Christ, worst shot of the day by far. Hit that tree. Okay. All right, it got past those trees at least. I, th I thought it was going to hit the tree and come backwards. All right, that was a bad decision to try that. I should have just gone where I with the shot where I had a club. I really didn't have a club for that knockdown. Um, so I just really shouldn't have shouldn't have tried that. Okay. All good though. We'll chip in here. We'll do the business. No, too hard. Too hard, Turlock. Lads, I'm Scotty's putting the pressure on me. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm making bad decisions now. Just calm it down. We can still par this. Par here would be fine. Even if Scotty buries this, we're still winning. Yes! Clutch! Come on! Catches a piece there. Woo! Let's go. All right, Scotty. Are you going to go one back, though? That's the question. Is Scotty Scheffler going to go one back? He misses! Come on, see, I told you, we hold that. Well, I didn't tell you anything, but that's the way it goes, man. You hold it, you put some pressure on, and then there's, there's so much pressure on that six-footer for Scotty then, and he misses it. Come on. Massive. Big dick stuff right there. We're still two shots clear. We got away with one there because we played that hole very poorly and and still walked off with a, with a two-shot lead. Bang! There's trouble wherever you look here. That's left. Oh, that's perfect, though. All right, good shot from Scotty Scheffler. This round's been a clinic so far, and that's another. Now I have gone too far into the bunker on the other side on this one a few times, so I'm going to take it a little bit more down the left side this time, and kind of play it down this way. I'm not going to hit a power drive or anything. I'm just going to hit a normal one. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Even though it's kind of pushed, that'll be fine. I'm not going to reach that bunker, right? That Perfect. 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 Come on. About 100 yards left, I'd say. 125. Okay. Perfect. Can't ask for much more than that. The crowd. <laughs> All right. Scotty Schaffler has been putting the pressure on me. Big miss on the last hole, though. Is he going to put it close again? Oh, he is. Oh, he is. Oh, Scotty. Oh, Scotty. Back to back six footers for Birdie. He missed the last one. He's putting like he did at the Masters. If he keeps missing these ones, 54 degree, a little high fade. Take a little distance off. Get this to um, sit quickly at the back of the green. Oh, a little too much underswing, man. Stuck the follow through. Oh, it's so good. Could be really good. Oh, what a shot! Oh, this is God, the high fade made it just spin to the right a little bit, and that was perfect. I thought it was going to be a little short because of the underswing, but a good thing it was underswung because otherwise it would have been long. Let's go, baby. Scotty Scheffler now has some pressure to make this one to stay within two. He's aiming quite far right. 
He's made it though. Scotty. Scotty's made it. What a front nine Scotty's having. An eagle, three birdies, and a bogey. And it generates we have a chance here to reignite our two-shot lead there. Beautiful. Okay. Two-shot lead restored. I love this hole. It's, it's, it's tough. Oh, that pin position is difficult, though, off the top left there. It's definitely better than the one on the top right, though. Or uh, back right, rather. All right, let's see what you got, Scotty. Scotty Scheffler. Oh, good-looking golf shot from Scotty Scheffler. He is on fire right now. Scotty Scheffler on the difficult par three puts it to about 13.5 okay, foot. Means. Okay. Okay, Scotty, I see you. Now, seven wood's still going to be too much. And four iron, I'm, I'm thinking, might even be too much. I'm going to hit the five iron. I know that might seem crazy, but I think a five iron, kind of a little bit of a low draw here. Just like that, missed the tree. It's a little bit right, but good shot. Soft bounce on the fairway there. Okay, we're gonna have a long birdie putt, but it's a birdie putt. 42 foot, 12 inches up. Okay, 43, 55 maybe. I think 55 is the correct play here. Play it. It definitely breaks left at the start, but more to the right. Honestly, we're not going far enough left for it to, to break hard left though. So I'm gonna go with like, oh, I underswung a little bit. This one's tracking on a very good line. Look out! Oh. What a putt. All right. Just miss, I'm thinking of going back to the follow cam on the, on the putting because I think that they fixed some stuff with that. So I might try that as well. I don't really like the pro cam, um, but I'm going to try the follow cam for the putting because broadcast cam, it goes it goes quite far out sometimes, you know. Scotty Scheffler made it. I just realized yeah, Scotty Scheffler was taking a shot in the background and he made it. One. I'm trying to change some we'll goddamn visual settings here, Scotty, you sick man. Happen. Okay. okay. Oh my good. god, Scotty gets within one. Okay, we need a birdie here on the par five to close out the front nine. Scotty Scheffler scaring me. Can get there in two, but it requires accuracy and two enormous shots. Two enormous shots. That's a good start from Scotty. He's played it down the right side perfectly. Yeah, that's a nice that's good. The result is All right, if I can do something like that, maybe a little bit further up. up. Yeah, there's no shot he's getting there. I don't think it, I don't think it's even on today, honestly. I don't I don't really think it's reachable. With that uh Oh, pulled it. Jesus Christ did I pull it. That's the uh that's gonna be a layup. Definitely gonna be a layup, unfortunately. No chance we can get there from there. That's about three hundred yards away. Yep. Two hundred and ninety five yards away. Um, unfortunately, just pulled it rather than pushed it. I needed a, I needed a fairly straight one to have a chance of going at this in two. No way he's going for this, right? I don't think it's even possible, so it's going to be a layup to the right. I'd have to assume. Oh, flip the tree. Fucking what an effort, though. <laughs> what an effort. Fair play. He goes into that Two little bunker. That's going to be a tough bunker shot from there. The oh, my God. Bunker. If it carried that bunker, he might well, have actually had a chance there. Driver yeah. off the deck. Scotty Scheffler just shot. absolutely was not taking his medicine. That's for sure. Oh, I can hit driver off the deck now. Oh, I didn't realize. I'll play a little draw four iron into the fairway there. Leave myself a pitch shot. That's poor. It's a poor layup. Uh, we're going to get away with it. Yeah, that's perfect. Thought it was going to draw enough to go into the bunker, but nah. Left ourselves a good uh, a good distance there, 64 yards. A little pitch shot, maybe even a runner shot could work here. Um, I've played a runner when we've done this challenge before, and it worked out really well, actually. So I might try that again. I'm going to try the little runner. Uh, I've been getting used to those runners, and I'm actually really liking them all of a sudden. I've been doing, like, the 60-degree runner, landing on the front of the green. These things, like, run down the back. Uh, I feel like they're a really fun shot to play. It's, like, a really fun, creative shot to play. So I'm going to try that. Right here now, and see if we can uh, if we can get it close. That was underswingy, though. Fuck. Oh, man, that would have been so good if it wasn't underswingy. All right. It's going to be a birdie putt, but the underswing killed us there. Uh, this is a, this is a shot where a blast might actually come in handy. Like, this is, <laughs> this is a bunker shot where you need to kind of run it up there a little bit. But he's carried... See, the, the, the problem is with the, with, the, with the bunker shots, the AI play it like it's a pick... But they're playing the blast every time. Yeah, like, the they carry it way too far one. up there. Every the time. Grass. And uh, that's good for us, though. Scotty Scheffler. That was a tough bunker shot. I think even with the pick there, it would have been difficult. But Oh, Scotty Scheffler still off the green. Scotty Scheffler could be walking off now this, with a bogey. He does have a bit of an incline to navigate. But other than that, this shouldn't move much at all. 
All right. Um, let's see. This definitely turns right at the start heavy and then turns back to left a tiny bit at the end. It's not going to affect it too much, I don't think. All right, where does this vibration come in? Right there. Too hard. Too hard. Too hard. Fuck, man. Damn it. Yeah, I, think I waited for the vibration rather than playing it before the vibration. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Scotty Shuffler's going to Texas wedge this bad boy. He holds this. This would be a bit of a... Bit of a blow for us. Oh, he's not hit it? Oh, yeah! Yeah, wow, there. what a par for Scotty. Closes out the front nine at 12 under, one Save shot back. Par. Okay. Two pars. Not what we would have wanted there, guys. Not what we would have wanted there, but uh, 33. We're out in 33. Honestly, solid front nine. It's just that Scotty was doing so well that it feels like it wasn't that great, you know? So, five under for Scotty. Everyone else around there is like one under level par kind of way. So it's a battle between me and Scotty right now. Love to see it. This holds a layup for sure. Fairway bunker that runs all the way down the left side. Scotty's doing the correct thing too. A dog leg left. Then you're going to come across that front bunker into a green that, uh, well, is anything other than flat. All right. I'm going to nearly hit the seven wood. Is that crazy? I hit seven wood. I think three wood just has the chance to carry if I if I really catch it. So I'm going to hit seven wood and just. Leave myself a full wedge coming in there. Maybe even an iron. All right, perfect Going shot. Seven wood here at the short par four, and that's 150, we probably have like a nine iron or something. Location. Should be a pitch and wedge. Yeah, pitch and wedge should be perfect second. here with that wind. 1.7 degrees above, but wind's kind of going left, or kind of going right, so I should counteract that, and that's a good looking golf shot. Please be good. My, just, wow, the wind is affecting. I feel like the wind when it's at your back affects it so much in this game. Like, I'm used to 2K where, it, like, the, the headwind will affect it a lot more than the than the downwind shots. In this game, I feel like it's almost the opposite. I don't know which is, I don't know which is correct, but <laughs> that's the way it feels like in either game, anyway. Scotty Scheffler with a little draw. That's a, that's a good-looking golf shot. It's not going to spin enough, though. So, going to be just missing the green left, actually. That That's a little harsh. I thought that was better than that. But Scotty Scheffler, nine yards away. Like, good look at this one. Got a bit of green to work with up the hill. Good looking chip. Good shot. Tap in par for Scotty there. Game and we're going to have a birdie putt to take that two shot lead back. It's a difficult one, right though. There. That's for it's sure. All about getting it inside that three see, foot circle around see, the, the further left I am, the really less nice it breaks. Shot. So I need to kind of hit it through the break a little bit here. I need to maybe be a little bit more aggressive than I normally would just to try and, try and get through this break without it affecting it too much. We're going to try it. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful! Uh, I played it beautifully! Come on! Read. What a putt that was. Played it to perfection, you know. Really did. Scotty Scheffler so cleans up for his par, and we'll move on to the par 511 with a two-shot lead at the Players' Championship, baby. Come on! That's what we're cooking here. Well, you can All right, literally power drive. Shoes. This is it. Uh, pushed it. Uh, it's going to probably prevent us from going at this and two into that wind, I'd say. Maybe. Saturday of golf here yeah, no this. chance. 272, I just don't think there's any advantage. Unless it pins up the very back and I can land it on the front and, and kind of barrel it up there. I don't think there's any benefit to me really going for this. And Scotty Shuffler has decided he's not going to go for it. He's just going to hit a three wood up there and lay up. I don't know what the hell he was thinking there, though. A really bad golf shot. He's left himself in an awkward position there. Why does it look like he's just aiming dead at the water? He's laying up the right side, okay. Alright, fair enough. 180 yards. Left himself 130, okay. Can we go for this is the question. With a power poach 3 wood, I think yes, we can. And I need to play a big high fade to try and get this to stop. Oh, please be good. I'm begging. I'm just absolutely on my knees here. That's it. Alright, it's always going to be hard to stop with the 3 wood. I feel like I should have not even hit the power approach. I should have just hit the normal 3 wood. Alright, tough bunker shot there, but definitely not, a, not too bad. Should be able to get up and down in for a birdie. Scotty Scheffler, let's see if he can get up and down for a birdie from 130 yards out. That looks dangerously close to the right-hand side. It's going to spin into the bunker. Oh no, Scotty Scheffler's going to be walking off here with a bogey, 100%. They never get up and down from the bunker, ever. The reason is, is because they hit blast shots. I'm going to try it. With an absolute crack and banter, I'm going to try a blast shot to see, just to be fair. Match the AI here. Watch this shot. 
It's gonna be a masterful blast. See? It's doable. For sure. Great shot. Great bunker shot there. Okay. We had a lot of green to work Good with. The pick would have been difficult there, actually, so I'll take birdie. that. Let's see if Scotty can uh, can match my blast shot. Bunker. Probably not, because the AI is just dog flat. shit out of the bunkers. Not terrible. He was very short-sighted, but left himself 17 uh, foot for par. We have uh, we have much less than that for birdie. I think we have seven foot for birdie. So this could be a this could be a two-shot swing here, and we could be leading by four after this. He would go to 11. I would go to 15. Yep. No. Nope. Definitely possible. We're about to have a four-shot lead at the top, my friend. Scotty Scheffler is going the wrong direction. Straight forward look here for birdie. Before we move on to the drive ball power four, no less. Bang! Come on. Yes. Good. Start. Oh no, he's aiming way right. Why are you aiming so so far right, Scotty? Double bogey for Scotty. He's missed a one-foot putt. <laughs> I hate when that happens, man. It's so annoying. It really is. They need to fix that shit. Because the AI was so good, like, on the front nine there. But then to just have okay. shit like that, so it just kind of ruins it, you know? You know I got to go for this again, right? I got to redeem myself after yesterday. A challenge. What's the key here? I just have to. Again, trying to find that right position on the fairway. And that's down the right I think side. I can carry this left, with just a normal driver. Your view. I draw. Watch the shot. Oh, please be good. I'm on my knees here. I'm on my knees. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I'll take that all day long. I thought that was going to bounce dead left first and go into the water. <laughs> I, I thought it was either going to do that or it was going to carry and bounce straight and go right next to the pin, but we'll take the we'll take the in-between shot. Scotty Chef was probably going to lay up because the AI are pussies in this game. No, no, he's taking it on. But he's going to be short. Watch. Oh, he's in the water. Uh oh. Oh, that is an uncharacteristic. Scotty's falling apart here. Scotty Scheffler, who was pushing us all the way, <laughs> is going the complete wrong direction now. One. After missing a one foot putt on the last hole, it kind of makes rough, sense. But it appears to be a pretty good lie. Little pitch go shot landed at the front. Oh, I have to use this camera angle. Oh, fuck's sakes. Oh, nearly hold it. Oh, it's hard to gauge like how far your swing is coming back on that when, it, when it's behind you like that. Yeah, it definitely breaks quite a decent amount, actually. It breaks a decent chunk, I think. If this is correct. Oh, it was even more than that. Wow. Okay. Got a four-shot lead. We just need to, we need to nurse this lead in uh, into the clubhouse, honestly. If we can still be four shots ahead... Come, uh, come 18. I'll be very happy with that. Scotty Scheffler taps in for his par after going in the water. Follows up his double bogey with a water ball and a par. Not too bad. All right. We'll take it, son. We'll take it, baby. I mean, I am playing really well, but I don't know. I'm playing like four shots clear well, and nobody's even like putting up a fight against me. It looked like Scotty was going to, but he just went the complete wrong direction after that. All right, a little bit of a high fade potentially. Be good. Be good. Be good. I kick left. Oh, it's good though. It's good though. We're on fire at the moment, guys. Yeah, we really are on fire right at the moment. You know what I'm gonna do for the last uh, last five holes here, guys? I'm gonna turn off zoom and we're gonna we're gonna give it, give that a bash. We're gonna give it a bash without zoom and just see see what you guys think. You know, just see based off um off how that plays if. Uh, if it's going to be a fun way to play that without one, zoom because i feel like it could be fun i i, I think it could be here we go my friends and the hole is cut back got his chef got his chef decent putt well that takes the strain off the next but that's one. going to be a par for you good sir one, and uh good. i'm making birdies so Eight you better down. be scared the rest of the field is terrified son oh that was a lot of overswing wow Okay, never mind. They're not terrified anymore. Make sure we make the one back. Well, Josh, All right. That is Good putt on the way back. Par. par. Rock a pop and strawberry bubblegum today, by the way, guys. All right, Scotty Scheffler. 10 under 5 back now. 
He was within one for so long, but a poor showing over a couple of holes there. Took him out of it completely. All right, you definitely want to be aiming a little bit uh, to the right. Zoom is off. Let's have a look here. So 327, we're definitely not... We're going to leave ourselves maybe like a 180 shot or something with this drive. Aim out to the right a little bit. Let the wind take it back and definitely safer to be out to the right. That's a slow... Okay, that's going to be a tough shot from there though. Jesus Christ, that's going to be a long way back. Turn it out to be about 250, Saturday not quite, but 200. 200 yards, okay. Fine. That man has his uh, has his hands wrapped around that lady's neck right there. He's choking her out. He's choking her out. Oh, never mind. She's free. No, he's choking her out again. <laughs> Daddy Chef hits a three wood for some reason, and he does leave himself about 230. Good lord. They need to do something about this AI, about about the AI. They, they, there's definitely a few fixes. Space, like there's a lot of it that's second. really good actually. Like, I'm surprised with how good a lot of it, uh, of the AI is and how it performs, but they definitely need to fix a few things, tweak a few things, and got the Scheffler there with a good shot. Good shot indeed. I'm, I'm here pressing the zoom button. I'm like, why the hell isn't it, uh, <laughs> isn't it zooming in? Okay, we got 201 to the pin into a, into a wind. Pin's on the left side, clearly, so I want to be aiming over a little bit to the right. Um, maybe even playing a little finesse with a 5-iron. Try and just get it to come up a little bit shorter and then sit down. That's left. That's poor. I was even quite far right there. That just pulled off the club face. All right. That's no problem, though. The, the zoom is going to be tough on a short game with bunker shots like this as well. Here we can see, but if you're like, if you're short sided and you can't see the pin or something, that's going to make it difficult. All right, a little blast shot here. Or a little pick shot, rather. Definitely not blast. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Okay, kick in par there. Scotty Scheffler has a chance to get back within four, join the group at second once again. Well, and he's had great conversion on putts like this. Even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. Scotty, he needs it. He needs it and he gets it. Scotty Scheffler with a fist pump. He's getting himself back into contention with four holes left. In this People round, not moving day, no. and no one's really made a move at all. Well, That's the there. crazy thing about moving day here. Nobody's made a move. Like everyone on the on the leaderboard is is. Oh, Cameron Young's making a move. Okay, okay, Cam. Cam Young, 12 under. He's three under on the day. But I'm the lowest out here. Tom Hogue is four under. I'm the lowest out here. Look at that. Oh, someone's six under. Denny McCarthy shot a 66. Victor Hovland shot a 68 to move to seven under and just outside the top 10. Yeah, there's quite a few people at 11 under, 10 under. I think anyone at 10 under still in this thing definitely good finish here we could uh we could be in a really good position heading into uh heading into round four heading into sunday at sawgrass okay turning out to be a beautiful saturday of golf beautiful here. and this another fine tee shot all right we want to play it off the right a little bit um i yeah, maybe not the left side of the fairway there so it be perfect good shot yeah, zoom definitely adds an element of um, adds an element of kind of strategy to it. Uh, definitely, because so you have to really it? think through and your shots before hitting them, rather than just drive. aiming the zoom button and then bang. You kind of got to see where you're aiming. You Frank can't really see without approach, looking at the map. Well, knowing exactly Scotty Scheffler. Um, there's mounting, there's that little That's a little the left. Of this green. It's, it's a little left for Scotty, but he's giving himself a decent chance for birdie there. Let's right, see what we got here. Um, now, that's too much club, clearly. I think a 150 club with a little finesse shot. Wind behind us a tiny bit. Sending this up there, you know? Sending this up the green. A little slow. Yeah, it was, it was the right idea, I think. It was definitely the right idea. Just hit a little slow and then pushed it out there to the right. But that's okay. And 22 foot for birdie. Pretty similar thing, for me and Scotty, distance, but just opposite good. sides Maybe of so the hole. He holds this. That will put him into solo second. No, nope, actually tied second with Cameron Young. Ooh, he misses, though. Oh, no, he misses, he though. We have a chance now to get that lead back to four here. Definitely breaks hard bird. left at the start and then back well, to the right at the end. A little two like inches up, something like that, and then we'll kind of... I hit it too hard. It's going to go straight through that break there. Wow, poor putt. Really poor putt. I mean, it should be a clean-up par, really. Nothing too crazy about this one. 
There you go. Yeah, good part. Four pars in a row to follow the back-to-back -back birdies at 10 and 11. Um, it's not been special, but it's it's been effective, and we're still we're still well clear here at the top of the leaderboard. We have a we have a good cushion coming into the final round. Um, well, we do so far. We still have three holes left. And we got a par five coming up here. If we could birdie this one, that would be real real nice. Put us in a beautiful position. Keith Mitchell gets the 12 under as well. So a couple of players getting the 12 under now. Three shots back. But I'm not worried about that. To be honest. Really not. Love these last three holes. Love these last three holes. There's so much danger, but there's so much opportunity as well. That's my favorite kind of golf course as well. When there's danger, but there's also opportunity. I'm just going to play it out there a little bit. Play a draw. Just uh, make sure I'm aiming... In a decent position there. Am I really aiming down the middle there? It doesn't seem like I'm aiming down the middle. Draw. Draw a little more. This one working up the Yeah, right I was. Side. I was aiming a little bit too far right there. Alright, well, we've left ourselves in a pretty impossible position to go for it from there, I imagine. Um, depending on the lie. We have a shitty lie for a 7 wood, but what's our lie like with the the four iron pins at the front yeah there's just no way this is going to turn out well i'm going to just play it here and just i know that this is going to go a little bit left of the pin and a little bit short so that should be a okay with me oh it's not actually short but it's left it is short yeah that's why that's kind of where i was expecting it to be except in the fairway not the rough could be worse could be better but we'll take it and scotty scheffler here on 16 and maybe give himself an eagle chance here because if he could get an eagle you know, that, that'd be... That'd be big. He, hit a, he actually hit a good drive for once. It's just crazy. You never see the AI hitting good drives. Long, though. A little long and left for Scotty Scheffler. He's missed the green from 220 out. A little pitch, I think. Out of the rough, we can't hit the spinner. I think that should be really... No? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful pitch shot. And that should be good enough. To get us a birdie and get us to 16 under par, son. You know me, baby. Got the to get the 13 under par here with a chip in. Giving it a chance. That's long, though. Ooh, a little tester on the way back for Scotty. Scotty, Scotty. To join the group at 12 under par, Scotty Scheffler. We looked at the start that he was on for a worldly round, and he's not going to make it. It slides by the edge. That's a cruel putt. That is, son. An absolutely yeah, cruel putt, nice. All right, well, this should be a cleanup. And we'll move to 16 uh, under par there. with a great round of golf here again. It's been solid, solid part. stuff, my friends. It really has. Scotty Scheffler is going to clean up for his par. He'll be very disappointed with me being in the rough and him being in the fairway here that he's going to walk off with a par and I'm going to walk off with a birdie. Two holes left. I think Saturday, Saturday pin position is the front pin position, isn't it? Yes, it is. I like that pin position because you can kind of go beyond the pin and just leave it, leave it there. They track back a little spin back maybe. Yeah, see, this is much tougher now because I can't see where the slopes of the green are without the zoom. Yeah, I think that's clearly too much though. 50 degree wedge. Yeah, this is perfect. Can I aim at the water here? I know that seems a little crazy, but... That's so bad. Oh my god, that's so bad. Why is I that so under... Legs. It's just an even, oh it wasn't even close to making it. With a terrific round going on this whole just gets in I don't believe head. it. Like, how is that that underswingy, though? I don't even understand how that was that underswingy. I get a few shots like that where they're just underswingy as hell, and Scotty Schaffer is right at that thing. Hold on, one. Oh, what a shot, Scotty. Damn it, man. Maybe a little spinner here? Oh, yeah. Spinner's the play here. Watch this. A little bit of height on the spinner. 69 yards. Landed on the front there. Got to check up quickly. Now, we need to make sure we don't underswing this one, though. Now, spin. All right. Okay. After a 20 foot for bogey, my friends. 20 foot for bogey. Okay. Come on. This would be an absolutely massive putt to make here. It really would be huge. All right. It breaks off. Doesn't break that much, really, does it? It breaks definitely a little bit more from left to right. Especially at the end there. Let me go with this. Ding! God, I've hold two clutch bogey putts on this, co on this hole. Wow, that was a big one, though. A double there would have been bad. Especially with Scotty putting for birdie here to get to 12 under. 
Um, if we went to 14 under, we have a lot of people real close to us all of a sudden. But Scotty Scheffler makes a great birdie. Yes. And wow, what a putt. What a clutch putt that is. Huge. All right, three shot lead. That would have been down to two, man. That would have been down to two there. We would missed that putt for a bogey. And that was not easy. That was a downhill 20 footer double breaker. But we've stepped up and we're up to that task, baby. Come on. That's what we're cooking here. That's what we're cooking. Bang from Scotty Scheffler. As they come. Scheffler is on the hunt here. After the birdie on 17, if he can finish with a birdie here, he's putting himself right into contention at the Players' Championship here. There's a lot of people hunting me down. There's a three-shot gap, though, so that's exactly what we need right now. Now, our driving point is somewhere down there. 286, okay. So I'm going to play a little bit of a draw just off the edge there. Wind has always been kind of left to right on this hole so far this week, so... Yeah, perfect. Absolutely sublime drive there. Sublime drive. Aggressive. But it's worth it because that has paid dividends right there. It's a beautiful shot. And that is beautiful. Scotty Scheffler. Himself about 185. See if he can put it close here on 18. Sung JM put it into the crowd here yesterday. But Scotty Scheffler's put it close. And Scotty is looking for a goddamn Hollywood finish here. Seven foot five inches for birdie on the last for Scotty Scheffler. But... What would put a real damper on this is if we done the same damn thing. How about that? Come on now. All right, 165 to the back. We're not going to not gonna go over the back with this club. This should be perfect. Well, I might go over the back with a fucking overswing like that. It might be bloody ideal, though. Sit. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's get a bounce back birdie here, baby. How about that, huh? look here for birdie. All right, not much in it. I'm just going to head straight. Gonna head straight at it. This dead set level. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And that's good what a finish. Up. Birdie on the last. Scotty Scheffler now has got within three. Off, and be in the final group, probably. He nails it. Scotty Scheffler, yeah, he's up to the pressure. There. And he's going to be the one hunting us down tomorrow. Scotty's going to be the one hunting us down tomorrow. Three shot lead heading into round four. Cameron Young, Keith Mitchell, and Scotty Scheffler all at 13 under. Billy Horschel at 12 under. Nobody really at the top of the leaderboard had a round quite as good as me, except Scotty, of course. Scotty shot a 66 as well. Keith Mitchell, Cameron Young, both four under rounds. Billy Horschel, two under. He was actually 10 under coming into this. So, yeah, we we were level with Billy Horschel at the start of this, and now we're four shots ahead of him. Eight under, six under. Beautiful so golf. Let's go, well, boys. We got this. We got Rich this. Saying, we need a similar round in round four, and we got this, boys. Holy moly. Are we going to be playing with Scotty again? I'm interested. I'm interested to see if we're playing with Scotty again. Let me see. Yep. Scotty Scheffler once again. Final group with Scotty Scheffler. <laughs> All right, at least for the last round, it seems like we are the last group out. So maybe it's just for the last round that they do that. Interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The last round of the Players' Championship is going to be coming up in the next video, guys. And we are in prime position to get our first win on the PGA Tour. Now, what challenges did I want to do to uh, unlock those irons? I think it was the TaylorMade ones. TaylorMade round two, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, play the three hardest holes of Tory Pines against Jing Young Ko. Stroke play. Uh, having missed the green, practice a short game from three different sides of the ocean. This ocean side hole, land all fifteen shots in the green, hit sixteen six shots within ten foot, and hit nine shots to within five foot. Nine? Fucking hell! <laughs> all right, let's try it though. Because if we get all three stars on this, we do unlock those irons, and I want those irons. So fifteen shots. We need nine of them to be within five foot. That seems unreasonable, to be honest. <laughs> little pitch shot potentially is the maybe a spinner here is the best way to go. Actually, spinner we go. A little spinner landed on the on that little. Up slope there and try and just get it to stop dead. Those spinners always go further than I think. That's within 10 foot at least. Not quite within 5, unfortunately. Don't you dare stop there. Get in! What? 6 foot? That just does not look 6 foot away, man. I can't even fucking believe that 6 foot away, to be honest. Oh my god, I made it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Big hit moment, baby. All right. If only there was a there was a challenge for making it or something. That'd be great. Twenty-five. Go in. 
Oh yeah, that's within five foot. Okay, so we need basically over half the half of them to be within five foot. So I was doing twenty five with a decent amount of height. That seemed to work beautifully. Oh, that's too far though. Oh, it sat down nicely. Perfect. All right, different location now. I'm guessing. Yep. Oh, okay. That's gonna be a lot more difficult. <laughs> okay. So let me know what you thought about the experiment with no zoom as well, by the way. I'm very intrigued now to see what people say about that one. So we had four out of five within five foot there. We need to get, I would say, two out of five here within, and then we'll see what the last one is. If we could get two of them within five here, that would be pretty magical, honestly. It's going to be difficult here. The bunker shots, like, they come out fast. Six foot, it's still, that's already, I think, that's all of them within ten foot anyway. They're all within seven, but not one of them was within five. That's within five. That's it. Oh, what a shot. All right, one. So we need four of these next five to be... Oh, well, there there goes that idea. <laughs> there goes that idea. This needs to be a flop. I mean, to get four out of the five of them within five foot. I mean, that's just fucking outrageously difficult. Let's just try one. Just going straight at it. Not quite far enough. That's because I underswung it, though. That's within five. No, it's not. Fucking five foot one inch. If I get the next three within five and that one inch costs me, I am going to flip out. And I mean that. I'm going to flip out if that's the case. It's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm telling you. It's 100% going to happen now. Just to piss me off. No? Okay. It, it all comes down to this last one. How was that one that bad? It all comes down to this last one, my friends. No, I, I don't believe it. Please. No, it ran away! Yes, okay, it's four foot. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, on the last one. That was intense. That was intense. Oh, let's go. All right, we got that challenge now. We've unlocked those new irons. Let me know if you want to see me rock these new tailor-made irons. Um, after the players, probably. I, I don't want to change irons in the in the middle of the tournament. You know, that, that, that might that might mess with us a little bit somehow. <laughs> uh, we don't want any bad juju. Anyway, that should get us the new irons. There we go. Look at those. Look at those bad boys. The Sim 2s. They're sick. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with the next episode, the final round of the Players' Championship. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out. Have a good one. Break.